So another maybe turn of, uh, I guess, fortunes for Cleveland was just a couple months ago. You're down 3-1. I think most of the sports world and maybe people in this room had, had the series is over. The Warriors are going to win at home in game five. What's the mind, mindset around the organization, the mood when you're down 3-1 in the Well, series? you know, I think so. We're down 3-1. to one, And uh, uh, David Griffin, uh, our, G Griff, our GM, sends around a note, an email, which is an epic email about uh, making history. Mm -hmm. And it really, just, it just struck a chord. So why not? Cleveland, you know, it was quintessential Cleveland. It had to happen this way. So think about that. The Warriors, world champion Warriors, set an NBA record for wins. Uh, we're down three to one. 32 teams have been down three to one in the, play in the finals. All 32 had lost. We would have to win two of three games. Uh, so two games in a row on the Warriors floor which they hadn't lost done that all year long. So you name it, everything was against us and every me national media person had written us off. It's a lot of locals had written us off as well. So you knew it had to happen that way for Cleveland, right? To break the curse and not to see the shot, the drive, the fumble, all that stuff. It had to happen that way to truly be the Cleveland story. And to come back and win it that way and in that fashion, um, was the only way that it would happen. But I think, I, you know, and I, I know uh, Griff's a humble guy relative to that, but that just sort of set the tone about this is the way you knew it would have to happen. And I, I think if, you, if you're a Hollywood script writer and you wrote that type of script, and this goes back with the native son returning in terms of LeBron and how it all happened, unfolded, and you were to write it out all that way and then this against all odds sort of Disney movie type thing, I think if, if people would think it was just too unrealistic of a story to make up, right? Yeah. Um, and on top of it, with the city, with a 52-year curse and that, all of that, and on top of it, a city that's probably the most picked on of any city in the United States. Mm -hmm. I think we can all know that. And now we're all breaking down that barrier right now. But uh, all those things sort of congealed together just to create this sort of you know, un unrealistic but realistic story. Sure.